welcome to my channel houseplant the drawing i'm going to teach you guys today on how to design your own uh, custom window in archicad just design it your own way you know giving your own kind of idea your own kind of pattern as uh, so a designing your own window without any further ado let's get right into the business i'm going to delete this one i made okay so i have this um i have this plain wall like this and I want to put in the, I want to give him all kind of design, all kind of uh, look, okay? So that I can make the house look more interesting and look more beautiful. Because if I actually, I can put in this uh, sliding windows, but it's not going to look that amazing, you know? So I just want to put in my own kind of uh, design, my own kind of look. And um, if you check my ground floor now, let me just go to the, okay, this is ground floor. So here is like the sitting room. So I just need that kind of design and look to be to be here. What I want to do now is I want to go to the south elevation. Now at the side I want the window to be or the custom window to look like. I want to go to that particular side and I'm going to design it with using using the line tool. So I'm going to make mine to be red based on uh you know red is much more visible uh because of on this kind of color so i'm just going to design uh the kind of design i want What you want to do next is try and um, open, uh, give it this opening. If you are done with how it looks like and um, let's say let's say you really really like the design you made okay and you are done with all of your sketches and everything what you want to do next now is you go to this market so yeah and you crop just just crop the this the the side you drew the lines go to line two select on line two press ctrl a on your keyboard go to the circle two press ctrl a and ctrl d to move it out from this side and uh just just come and paste it here then copy right click then you copy this just copy this then go to the ground floor and go outside of the and also go to this particular side here and paste what you copied and click outside so once you've pasted this already go to the slab tool here double click on it click on this and make sure you select something like this okay then change the uh the slab thickness to be 25 okay because that's what i want the glass to be go here and model it model it to be glass yes it's okay glass clear fast or you can use this glass blue i'm gonna go with the glass blue and make sure you yeah 
make sure you change everything to be everything to be glass blue then go to the floor plan and section scroll down and click on cover fills click this and click airspace click this cover fill background pen and select this color okay click on that color and uh, click ok hold on space on your keyboard click click where you want the glasses to be to be located okay once that is done uh, just go to the 3d to check what you've done and if you have uh, something like this as you can see this is the design we're actually making okay so now all we, all we want now is we want to put in the aluminium so we have to go to our ground floor we are going to go on the slab tool again and change this to be 50 because the thickness it has to be thicker than the glass and come here model it to be look for metal aluminium something like this click on it make sure everything here is aluminium and come to the floor panel section and change this color to be let's see let me see this color okay this color then click on ok hold on space band uh, uh sometimes it isn't gonna work it's not gonna work it's not gonna go with what you actually want so what you want to do is you have to manually draw it So once you've done this, you want to go to your 3D view. So this is what this is the aluminum you created. Okay, this is the aluminum you created. Now you want to place the aluminum in the center of the uh, of the glass. Just click and just drag up, or you can calculate it depending on um, you know if you want to make it to be accurate. This should be 25. 25 divided by two is going to give us 12.12.5. So this way is 12. Point five should be in this should be at the center so that is how to place uh your your um aluminium in the in the middle side of your of your glass what you want to do next now is go to the ground floor hold hold on hold on alt and start putting in the rest of the aluminium For this arc, it might want to be giving you guys some problem. So what you want to do is hold on out. So for the arc now, click this point. Select on this uh, arc with defined sergeant. Click the middle point here. Click this point here. Then click this point here. Okay. Then click. Then select on this arc here. Then move it up. Make sure this is selected. This cover edge is selected. Then move it up. Select on this one to move it to this edge here. Then uh, what you want to do is click this side here and insert new node and put put the node there and put this node here. Then what you want to do now next is click on this side here, click on this um, curve edge and move it up. So you have that curve edge like that. So you can uh, come here and continue putting in some of your uh, continue your drawing. Once this is done, you can go back to your 3D view to see what you're actually doing. So if you click on this now, you move it up. So if you have something like this, you should have this kind of look. Okay. Go to the ground floor. Now what you want to do is you want to make overall metal that is going to be for the wall hole. So I'm going to go on the slab tool now. Click on the settings here and change. I'm going to change the color here to be sorry. I want to change the color here to be okay. Let me see to be red. Click on OK. Hold on space bar. Come to this edge here. This is edge here. Then click. So if it, everything should be covered now in red. So click. Sorry. Let me untick this. So click on this. And note you can move it out of just move it out like this. Okay. The only move more you move it out like this. Click on this red frame. Now go to the settings here, 
and come you are going to come and change this to be this particular in the under id and categories this id you want to change the id to be wall all just change it to be wall all and click on ok once that is done ctrl d and move it back on top of this then select everything that you've done go to file go to um, libraries and objects go to save selection as and go to window okay when you click on the window you can change this to be my design my design window and click on save then click on ok and once that is done you want to go to your uh, we're still on the ground floor here yeah? so you want to go to the ground floor here yeah? and you want to go to the window when you go to the just click on the window then over uh, over this when you over select the middle point click and move it to the part you want yeah just something like that so if you go to your 3d view now you should have you should have this so let's go to our 3d view okay uh it's not actually showing it completely so if you have this kind of problem what you want to do is select on this upper wall okay select on the upper wall and delete it then i'm just going to bring this down then what you want to do next now is click on this particular wall okay click on this node here and stretch stretch the height to be 6000 that's the the story that is the upper side i make sure you're not actually doing anything that is wrong check all your drawings okay and you should have something like this you should have this kind of look and also just in case you guys uh maybe maybe you made a mistake now for instance let's say you made a mistake or you don't like this kind of design and you want to change it what you want to do is go back to the ground floor click on this red ctrl d to move it out first then click on your market tool and click on the slab to here press ctrl a and press ctrl d to move it out to this other side here okay so once that is done i cannot come here and make your changes with the line tool hold down alt and click this make sure everything is actually floating okay and maybe say let me say you want to actually do this uh, design here so what you want to do next now is come here select all of this okay ctrl d and move it back move it back into the line that you've drawn the line design then because you can see this place is actually empty so you want to hold down alt select this and um sketch it out okay and that is done okay then what you want to do next now is click on this again ctrl d and click that point there place it on top of this place here and once that is done what you want to do next is i'm just going to send this back so once that is done i light all of this go to file libraries and objects save selection as window and click on that my design window click on it save overwrite it you're going to replace it just replace it okay click on ok and once that is done go to your 3d and you should change as you can see it's made a change here if you guys look at if it's actually opposite as you can see opposite to what i drew this is where this one is this side is supposed to be at this side where the problem is is you want to you want to delete this uh delete this window what you want to do is go to the window again and come and open it from here like this don't open it from here if you open it from here like it's going to give you something different so you want to open it from from here i'm coming let me remove this because it's not actually giving me the middle line so if you want to if you want to place it now what you want to do is go to the window place it from here don't place it like this don't place it from this part from the inside place it from the outside so when you place it from the outside when you click and just select this side here if you go to your 3d view it should change back as you can see change back change back to exactly how you drew it 
on the plan so yeah, i'm just gonna go to the south elevation uh yeah let me go to the south elevation yeah so i'm just gonna click this and drag it down i should have something like this so as you can see it looks exactly how it looks like uh, on the on the ground floor okay so um now let me just move i want to i want to make sure my design looks nice so let me just i'm just going to give it a kind of a architrave so it looks fantastic So this is how to design a custom window in Archicad, very easy. So you guys should design your own kind of custom window, your own kind of ideas. Thank you for watching my video. If my video has been of any help to you, kindly subscribe, comment and like. And I will see you in my other tutorial videos. Thank you.